Hey, thanks for tuning into my channel, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I connect, very simple process, connect this heat-operated fan to the Mr. Buddy heater to create some airflow in your deer blind. This is a four-blade Roblink $20 Amazon special. You guessed it, made in China, 20 bucks. They have all kinds of different brands of these fans and they run from 20 bucks to, I don't even know, 70 bucks. As long as it's got a T-shaped fin on the bottom like that, you're in business with your Mr. Buddy heater. I will put a link in the description below to this particular fan. It's just called the stove fan. The tools I'm going to use to mount the stove fan to the Mr. Heater portable buddy heater is a drill, a quarter inch drill bit, and an angle grinder. You could get by with a hacksaw or a sawzall with a metal cutting blade. The idea here is to, to just make a notch in the back of the upright fin so that it slides in through that wire. And then the drill hole will create a little groove or a little notch for it to set and rest in there so it won't fall out so easily. As you can see, I've simply clamped it in the bench vise. Got it pretty good and tight so that when I, when I drill, and when I run my angle grinder down through there, it's it's just got it good and secure. First, I'm gonna drill the hole. I'm gonna stay re relatively close to the bottom. And I'm gonna come down about a half inch from the back of the fin. And again, about as close to the bottom as I can get. And there's a the hole in place. Things already spin and create a little heat from drilling that hole. What I'm gonna do next is take my grinder and just grind a notch right to the hole. I'm gonna try to come out in the center of the hole there with my grinding blade, or if you run a hacksaw, you'll have to probably make two cuts with a hacksaw. So it's about, you know, you want it to be about an eighth inch wide so it'll fit over the wire. This is my good old DeWalt angle grinder with a diamond cutting wheel. This cutting wheel was about $18, but wow, worth every penny. I've cut, I don't even know, 52 inch pipes with this thing. These diamond blades are so much better than those, uh, the blades that wear down as you cut through the metal. It doesn't wear down and it just keeps cutting. It's getting kind of dull now, but it still cuts pretty good considering how much I've used it. Kind of goes without saying, but whenever you're using a metal grinder, make sure, and a drill, make sure you put your eye protection on and in case of the grinder, ear protection. There's a little bit of cut debris that comes off of there. I'll just take a screwdriver or something and clean that stuff up. The wire on the buddy heater is gonna be a little bit wider than that notch. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider with my grinder. So I've got my cut opened up to about an eighth of an inch as you can see there. Now it'll slide onto the wire on the buddy heater. Okay, so we're just gonna pop it right on. You can set it on the second wire down and slide it in just like so. If it feels like it's gonna be a little tippy, you can actually pull down on it a little bit. It sits on there real nice, nice and stable. You can actually use it, if you want it to angle you know, downward more, more towards the floor, towards your feet, which is where the coldest air is. Since you've got that quarter inch hole drilled in there, it really, it holds it almost. It'll hold it almost pointing straight down. I don't know how much heat you're gonna get, you know, at this angle. You get the most of the heat's coming out of the top of the heater right here, so it's probably gonna perform the best, you know, like on the second one down, you know, right in there somewhere. But we're gonna just leave it in the top one here for lighting it up and demonstration purposes. It might be a little easier to see the fan spinning. Well, we're gonna give it a try and see how it works. I've got the fan mounted on top of the Mr. Heater. Carbon monoxide alarm, just in case. That's carbon monoxide, not carbon dioxide. 20 pound cylinder. Mr. Heater type brand hose. You do not need, my opinion, you don't need this filter if you have the appropriate hose. If you have the wrong hose, it's gonna cause problems. But I have these filters on in between the Mr. Heater brand hose and my Mr. Heater, and you know what? They cause problems. I don't use them. I've been using this for three years without that filter in, th in this method and it works. So we're gonna start by turning on that tank. 
my pilot. I'm going to turn it to high so we can get it cranking right away. It has been about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, a minute tops, and the fan's already starting to spin. It's now about a minute after that, and the thing is humming pretty good. We are now going on about three minutes. I think it's going about as fast as it's probably going to go. I've got a piece of toilet paper here. I'll show you what kind of, kind of ventilation we're getting out of there. It's not like a, you know, electric fan going on high, but it's moving air. So pretty neat for no electricity. And I'm gonna shut the heat down. We'll see how long it takes for it to stop spinning. It's not a real, sh not they're not heavy duty blades and they're not real sharp. So if you bump your finger into it, it doesn't, doesn't hurt and it doesn't really cut. I'm good. So there you have it. I don't know how long it took before that thing quit spinning again. Half hour, maybe more, I don't know. But hey, I'd like to take this uh, opportunity to introduce you to another YouTuber, Hugh Phillips. DIY Outdoors. Hugh's a military vet who has an outdoor channel uh, and he's got some pretty cool uh, th videos on there. One is a $50 DIY deer blind that he built himself. Turned out really cool. Full of awesome details. Another one of his videos is a DIY uh, wood stove for that deer blind built out of an ammo can. He's got a rain barrel video, a how to do your own European mount type video. So check out Hugh Phillips. DIY Outdoors on YouTube. I'll put a link to Hugh's channel in the description below. Well, thanks for watching this video, everyone. Good luck out there hunting in your deer blind while being warm in it.